שכו, אז אני אשמע צי צרו ויחו מעטו ויעדו אלוהם. Let us give some tzedakah. Sure, you have a push good, throw something in. And I want to share with you a story, which I think is quite a telling story, but also related indirectly to the parish of this week. In the parish of this week, we have the um, many stories, including the supposed <coughs> passing of Aharoin. And the Pasuk says the following. The entire community saw, and Rashi explains what he saw, because he went up on the mountain, and God told him to lie, and God gave him the heavenly embrace, which caused Aaron to cease from this world. And they saw how Moshe and Eloza came down, and Aaron was not. When the people asked, where did Aaron? So they told him he passed away. So at first they didn't want to accept it. And as Rashi brings that the, they saw the Malachi Ashoras, the heavenly angels, show the bed, show the mitah, so to say, the coffin, from Aaron Akoin, and says, what did they see? Ki gova Aaron. Gova meaning, the loosely translation is that he passed away. But the precise, if you want, is expired. In other words, that Aaron Akoin has expired, in other words, his mission down in this world has expired, and he continued on his mission. Then Vayivko is in a heavenly way. Vayivko is Aaron Shloishim Yom Koil Beis Yisroel. And the entire Jewish community mourned for Aaron for 30 days. And Rashi brings the emphasis over here Koil Beis Yisroel, every single member, man and women, they were all mourning for Aaron. Why, says Rashi? Because Aaron was the man of peace. Oiv Sholem, Oiv Sholem. Aaron was the peacemaker amongst families. When there was a home dispute, Aaron would come and speak to the husband, speak to the wife, and make sure that they should live in peace and harmony. The same thing was with friends, with businesses. Aaron was a man who constantly strived for Oyev Sholem, Veroyev Sholem. was a man who pursued peace. A man who showed tremendous sensitivity to each and every person, each and every Jew of the community at that time. Sensitivity. Many years ago, Rabbi Moshe Feller, who was of the early shluchim, of the early emissaries from the Rebbe, I think in the early 20s, 1920s. Excuse me. Uh, 20, I mean 57, 20. But uh, I'm referring to 1960s. To Minnesota. He was asked by a local newspaper to explain, write an article, explain what is chassidus, Judaism, and give a general overview about specifically what Chapat Chassidus is all about. And he wrote a very beautiful article, and he used the metaphor of a person, as it says in Kabbalah, that if a person unfortunately fainted, then what ne- one of the ways of resuscitating this person, besides calling 911, etc., is a spiritual thing. And he writes by shouting the person's first name and his father's name, and this will resuscitate, this will awaken the person's soul and bring him back to life, bring him back to health. And he explained that this is what the Baal Shem Tov did. The Jewish community was in a state of fainting, and Yisroel, the name Yisroel of the Baal Shem Tov, which is, means every Jew, he came to resuscitate every Jew by infusing and reminding us who we are, by focusing on the person's neshama, by in, Shouting, he says, the name, you are a Jew, we are Jewish, and let's do what we have to. He wrote, he sent that article for, for the, the Rebbe to review before he published it, and the Rebbe accepted the article, he just changed one word. Where he wrote, shouting, the Rebbe said, whispering. You don't shout at another Jew, you whisper. Whisper in his ear, softly. Senses, with sensitivity, with love, 
with care. Shouting is a aggressive tone. No. You do not bring a Jew back to Yiddishkeit. You do not encourage a Jew by shouting at him, but by whispering. This is the Rebbe. And this is the Rebbe's vision, which continues to work throughout, through his shluchim, through his ambassador, and to every chassid. So may the Abish to help that this Shabbos, we should be in the Beis Amikdosh with Moshe Rabbeinu, with Aaron Akoin, with Rebbe Melech HaMoshiach, and this will be the most beautiful Shabbos ever.